What are you saying people? Back for the bang. I'm here with you guys for another video today. Um, as you can tell, I'm pretty happy and I think you guys know why. So um, we're going to touch on that at the end. But first, I just want to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining this channel. This is The Money Management. I'm happy to have you here. Thanks for being with us on this journey. Hopefully you stick with us. Stay with us each and every day as I you know, upload videos. Hopefully I can get you on the right path. Teach you about money. Teach you about finances. Educate you guys. Hopefully you guys can leave some feedback for me, whether negative or positive. And um, overall, I just want you to become better every day. So again, like I said, welcome. So it is Friday, guys, and that means financial tips for you guys. So today I have five financial tips for you. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So one, take a break from social media. Two, read different biographies. Three, save 40% of your pay. Four, read different financial literacy books. And five, invest in yourself. So obviously these five tips are needed if you want to build wealth and you know help yourself get more and more earnings and you know save more of your money and also obviously invest more of your money and overall just make more money and acquire more wealth. So we'll start off with social media. Look, I'm not saying stay off social media. I'm just saying take a break when you need to. Many people are going to post you what food they're eating, what holidays they're going on, what drinks they're drinking, what clubs they're going to, what parties they're going to, what people they're meeting. That's all good, well and good. Off the camera, you don't know what's happening. They could be in depression, they could have no money, they could have borrowed their whatever they used, they could have leased their car, they could have, you know, it could be their friend's shoes. Don't think about all those things. If, if social media is getting to you, it's fine to take a break, people. Do not be scared and do not feel, you know, embarrassed that you're taking a break from social media. It's the right thing to do. And all of us need to do that every once in a while. I do it myself. Take a break, go out and run, you know, go play, you know, sports with friends, just go to the gym. Just take a break from social media every now and then. Or just, you know, do something else on your phone. Read, you know, read different biographies, like I spoke about. That was my another, another point. Reading different biographies, right? The reason I say this is because people who write biographies are usually successful in one form or another. It could be painting, it could be sports, it could be music, it could be politics, it could be anything, but they're successful. And obviously a lot of you who are watching this channel want to be successful. So, you know, reading a biography, which is you maybe, maybe nothing to do with money or wealth, it will still show you like what they did to get to where they are. You know, it'll teach you a bit about their story. You know, you actually understand more from them about what they went through to get to where they are. And hopefully that can help you to improve yourself. And yeah, just, you know, read different biographies, just find out about people who are famous or, you know, well-known or successful, and hopefully it can rub off on you in some aspects. You know, just impact your life. Um, saving 40% of your pay. This one's difficult, but it's kind of, it is possible when you do it. You get paid a thousand bucks a month, let's say. 400 bucks a month stays in your bank. Or you can take it out in cash and keep it somewhere, you're not gonna touch it. Now, if you're in debt, this is gonna be a bit more difficult to do, a bit more tricky. I'm not in debt, so I don't really know how that would work. But for those of you who are not in debt yet, you just started off, save 40% of your pay. You're getting 10 bucks a day, keep four bucks a day. Just save it, just keep it, just save it. And then you can go on to another one of my steps, investing in yourself. Now, if you save that money and you use that money to invest in yourself, whether through courses online, whether through seminars, webinars, whatever, it's even better than saving because your money's now working itself and it's making more for you. Saving obviously is just there. You take 400 out of your thousand, the 400 is gonna stay there forever. It's not gonna change, it's gonna be 400. If you invest now in yourself, right, you might get ideas which will make you 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Lots could happen if you invest in the right way. You take courses, like I said, a $400 course or a $200 course, let's say. You learn how to make $500 a week. There you go. $400 a month has turned you into $500 a week. That's $2,000 a month. Those sort of things, you have to see them, see investing in yourself as an opportunity, as a cost which is gonna be effective. Reading financial literacy books, that's obvious. You know, whether it's about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, you know, different investments, um, taxes, whatever it's about. Financial literacy is so important. You know, your accounting, your assets, your liabilities, your balance sheets, your financial statements, your income statements, your expenses, what equity you have in certain things, the debt you owe, you know, what you can debit, what you can credit. If, you, if you're financially lit literate, 
and educated, you can get so far with your acquiring wealth. So, um, like I said, those are the main tips. Like, those are my five tips for today. So if you didn't get them, uh, in no particular order, investing in yourself, saving 40% of your pay, reading different um, financial literacy books, reading different biographies, and taking a break from social media. So those are my five tips for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. If you're new around here and you're not subscribed yet, hit the red button. And now I'm going to get on to the topic you all wanted to hear about. We've hit 100 subscribers, people. Well done. Thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful to you guys for doing this. I'm going to have a video out for you tomorrow. Um, we're about 103 now, so we smashed it. From here, onwards and upwards. I heard the first 100 is the hardest to get. So we've done it, guys. Onwards and upwards from here. I'm going to be with you guys. You guys be with me all the way. Thanks a lot for what you've done for me. I'm going to make sure I give back to you guys. February was a crazy month, guys. I got 84 subscribers in February. So in a year, I had about 12. Suddenly in February, my numbers just shot up. That comes from consistency. That comes from working hard. That comes from persistence. That comes from you guys. So again, like I said, thank you guys. Um, apart from that, the watches came out last week, Time Gear. One week ago today. If you've not got one yet or you've not checked out the website, make sure you do that. I'll leave the link in the description. That's it for today's video, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all the stuff I've said. Have a great day. And um, yeah, let's get at it this weekend. Again, thank you for 100 subscribers. Peace.